once you've done enough errors or when you've given up, which is usually the case, um, we're going to do some refining. So in order to do some refining, we go to Windows, we go to Windows, Parameter Adjustments, and in our Attribute Editor, let's bring that, let's change our environments back to basic. Thank you. And we're going to we go to Lens, we're going to click on Distortion Degree 2 and Distortion Degree 4. And we're going to go to the parameter. And here we're going to go and click on Adjust. But before we're going to do that, we're going to go to, for the lens, Distortion Degree 2, go to Adaptive and Distortion Degree 2 Adaptive. So Distortion Degree 2 and 4. Um, Let's go to adaptive, the rest will be brute force, and let's go to adjust. And what the adjust does is that it pretty much looks at everything and it does this very fancy smart equation that I am too dumb to figure out. However, it does some nice magic that helps you put your error down. So before it goes to its zero point, no, it's 1.08. Let's see if it makes it better or worse. Deviation, transfer pixels, please. And let's go to Alt C. Wow, it's bringing it down to 0 0.2. Wow, that's nice. Holy shit, uh, I am surprised. I'm shocked, but that error up here is still there, which is annoying, but I can live with those results. So, uh, so what we just did is that we just refined the film back. So this is what the film back is. So we changed it by a few millimeters. Uh, we changed the focal length by a few millimeters. But those few millimeters can give us such an uh, such a less stressful um, result and feedback. And you can pretty much do all these different degrees here and all these refining everything. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep it down to here. So this is a lot more um, a lot more better. Let's just say it. Let's say it that way. So, let's see what it looks like. 